power, you know, for the, with the solar panels. What okay, the wind panels? turbine. Yeah. 250 watts, so that's a thousand watts. Okay, and then battery. Batteries are right here. Yeah. How much? Okay, how much amperes do you use? How much amperage do you run with this thing? Oh, it can vary. I mean, it, it just depends. These, it uh, basically there is a 24 volt system. 24. Right? Okay. So 24 volts. Each battery is six volts. Right. So six times four is 24. Six times four is 24, and they're wired in parallel. Right. So it's 24 volts. So I'm bringing a thousand watts of power. And so that 24 volt system, and uh, you know, generally, like right now, it's sitting at the battery is sitting at 10 amps. Okay, do you run? Do you run? Do you run a thousand watts continuous with this? Uh, you, no. I mean, no. this this brings in about I don't know three or four kilowatts a day, and it's just it's not it's barely enough. Like so, at night I have to turn these pumps off. Okay, I see. And okay. Uh, and, and I keep an air pump on for the fish to keep them alive, but uh, I have to, I can't run it twenty four seven. It doesn't produce enough power. I would need about two or three more panels and probably another row of batteries to, to run it to run it 24 7. and and that 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 that'll, that'll be coming in time i suppose you so know that's yeah, what you got point. planned yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we'll expand it we're always going to expand it and yeah you know, but it's just you do what you can do to get by now your yep. wind turbines are tied into this all right one of them so the one closest to us is tied to this thing and the one farther from us is tied to that thing i see okay and then you have a smaller system just to run your computer. Or... Yeah, that one is just for running our, our computers and um, and the cell phones, you know, just basically to power the internet and we charge our laptops with it. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. You run a printer or anything in there? Uh, anything? When I need it, I turn it on. Yeah. But yeah, otherwise it will suck power. So. But uh, the thing is, we have generators that. This this thing is pretty well maintained. I, I haven't had to hook a generator up on this since we got the turbine. Because it really does produce a lot of power for it. But that one, we're using that power all the time, 24-7, because it's running the internet, keeping the internet up. Yeah. So there's times where I have to start the generator on that one still. And it takes more wind to get that farther turbine to go. Oh, okay. In fact, that, that turbine, that farther turn will produce more power than the, than the other one will. Right. But it takes more wind to get it going so it doesn't run as often. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a matter of... So know, it's good for those blowy days. Yeah, yeah. in the wintertime, it really does blow here. We're at a 20... 2300 foot elevation 2200 foot elevation right is, it, is it quite cloudy in the winter time mm -hmm. okay yeah. all right yep. so the winter time is when we really need the power yep yep you know? yeah and, definitely and like this next week it's going to be raining almost every day this week right up. and so even then it you know we need the we need the power so i mean you can attach more of those windmill type things <laughs> in here what i do is slowly take down these trees because like right now with the with the leaves going because right now normally this might produce enough wind to get one of those going but uh when the leaves come in in yep. the spring it slows everything down yep the wind doesn't blow through the trees like it used to yep but uh i mean but eventually my goal is to take them trees down it's amazing that we've got all this technology coming about just at the time yeah that's well, it, we're getting ready to leave. That's because Daniel says, in the end, on the last days, knowledge will increase. That's right. And that's what's happening right now. So Amen. That's a, that's, an, that's a direct sign that we're getting ready to go. Amen. You know, what was, what, why did God step in at the Tower of Babel? Because they were coming so technologically advanced that God said, we got to do something. He confused the languages. Yep. Well, now, language doesn't matter anymore because anyone can communicate with anybody based on the internet and everything else. So That's right. God's, it's a sure sign that God's going to, again, going to have to step in and, and fix things. Yes, please, especially regarding genetics. Yeah. Where did you, you buy your inverters and charge controllers 